Thank you for this opportunity to address this community at this very important meeting. We, the World Economic Forum, greatly welcome the launch of this roadmap and share with Secretary General Guterres and Special Advisor Hochschild the feeling of great urgency for increased and improved global cooperation. COVID-19 has irrevocably changed our world. So many of us had to learn how to live differently, to learn how to work, socialize, shop and collaborate differently. And we are doing all of this online. Since the onset of the Corona crisis, internet usage has increased by 70%. The use of communication apps has increased by 300% and virtual collaboration tools by 600%. And some video streaming services have grown 20-fold. This is only true for those who are connected to the internet. However, today, 30 years after the invention of the World Wide Web by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, this stands at just 53% of the world's population. Many individuals and populations in emerging economies around the world are now facing the impact of COVID-19 without the benefit of the connectivity that all of us take so much for granted. Of the 25 least connected countries in the world, 21 are in Africa. And the gap between those who are connected and those who are not is so dramatically felt today. The World Economic Forum developed the Joint Action Plan together with the ITU, the World Bank, GSMA and our industry partners. It highlights key immediate actions for private-public collaboration to ensure that digital connectivity is available and expanded to those who need it most. This has already been shared with 170 countries and is in active use. This fast-track partnership is deeply encouraging. A number of our partners have highlighted that we have made more progress in the last four months than in the last 10 years. Technology has been a critical weapon also in our fight against COVID. In April, the World Economic Forum established the COVID Digital Response Network, which has already compiled a compendium of over 90 lighthouse examples of how technology can be used to respond to the COVID crisis. In the Great Reset process, the Forum is undertaking to shape the post-corona era, we have to pay also special attention to the SMEs, small businesses which make up 40 to 90 percent of GDP in economies around the world are facing today a struggle for survival. The ability for small businesses to have access not just to affordable quality connectivity but to common digital services such as digital identity, security and digital financial tools which will be critical to their success. The ability of this community of small and medium-sized businesses to secure their livelihoods will have a tremendous impact on social resilience and cohesion in every country. As we advance our collaboration and establish our shared global priorities and roadmaps, I offer you five thoughts to guide our collective efforts. First, we must be ambitious. The time for incremental change and growth of digital access is over. We must highlight the critical nature of this challenge as foundational to so many others. And we have to bring those who care about education, health, climate, equality and growth 
to also be the champions in our mission to bring connectivity to all. Second, we must invest in digital inclusion with innovative financing models. Currently, only 1% of funding from multinational development banks goes towards digital infrastructure. Third, we must think of digital infrastructure and digital inclusion holistically, including digital identity and payment solutions as much as simple connectivity. Fourth, success will only be possible through deep, sustained, cross-industry and private-public partnership to ensure both affordability for consumers as well as sustainable economic and fiscal models for continued service provision. And finally, fifth, we should be guided by core principles for our shared digital future, inclusion, trust and sustainability. It is clear that the COVID-19 crisis is a watershed moment for digital infrastructure and services. Digital is the fabric of our post-COVID lives and we will continue to rely on technology more and more. Unless we rapidly tackle the challenge to bring high quality, universal internet access to all, we will not be able to build inclusive economies or achieve our sustainable development goals.